What is going on, folk? It's Nimblethaw here, and welcome back to my mobile gaming quest, where today, we are gonna play ourselves some Tactical, which is a brand new, still in beta, 5 vs 5 shooter, with just a 1 minute match time, so it's a really casual game, but I heard the developers actually drew inspiration from both Dota 2, so the PC MOBA Dota 2, and Battlefield, EA Battlefield, when they made this game. And what that means for the gameplay experience is that we have this sorta of top-down, nearly isometric view that we see in games like Dota 2 in other MOBAs as well, and then mixed with Battlefield gameplay. So we've even got cars in here that we can drive around, we can shoot from them, we can even destroy the cars if we have a bazooka. Let's try running over to one of the cars over here so I can show you guys. We can get on the trunk here. Let's do that first to get to this gun. Oh, oh, I think we have a great chance here taking out those guys. There we go, there we go. Wait, didn't we get that guy? <laughs> okay, we might have not gotten the kill, but at least we dealt some damage. That's really awesome. I'm very much enjoying this setup. It does make the game very casual that these matches are only one minute, but it also makes it super intense, and that's really awesome. Now, my favorite weapon, although we have a lot of them to choose from, is the sniper rifle. It is also one of the more difficult weapons, though, because we have to aim very carefully, and we're gonna die. <laughs> we get kind of... Oh, oh, we won, though. And now, let's see if we leveled up. We didn't quite level up to level 7 yet, I think. Nope, but halfway there, though, in just one minute. That's awesome. Hope for a loot box here. Yes, we got one of them. We got one of them. Let's see what's in there. Probably just some gold. Nope, both gold and some uh, some key pieces for Jason, which we need to unlock him. And some pieces for a new skin, it seems. That's awesome. So now we're going to spin it once more. It's going to happen automatically. Let's see. We have a 39% chance, and we got it again. Awesome. So another chest. This is really lucky, though. So now we got Spencer, or at least some more puzzle pieces, so that we can eventually unlock Spencer. And let's see. Are we going to hit that rare chest as well? Come on, guys. Nope, we missed. We can watch an advertisement, though, to get a free roll. But right now, we're just going to go for one more match. Before that, though, I actually want to show you the different equipments that we can equip. So we can go in here to a gear, and we can see all the different guns. We have these, we're just the SMGs, we have shotguns over here, we have assault rifles, we have sniper rifles, and we have machine guns. For each of these, we can then go in and define the different skin we want, if we've unlocked it, of course. And we also have secondary weapons over here, which is just a normal gun. We've got special, which are mines and hand grenades, impact grenades, C4, stuff like that. And then we have our operators, and right now, we only have the most common one. Later on, though, of course, we're gonna unlock some of these more rare ones, and even some of the, maybe some of the epic ones over here, which really makes a big difference for the game and for the gameplay. Because, for example, let's have a look at this character here called David, right? You see him? He has plus 100% clip capacity and reload speed. Obviously, that's gonna make a huge difference. But we can go in here and we can edit our layout. We have three different layouts. For this one, I use a sniper rifle for layout two. I have a shotgun, and then for layout three, I use one of the assault rifles. That's my preferred setup. And as soon as we've customized our setups, we can just go into one more match, and matchmaking is surprisingly fast. Uh, partly because we play against bots some of the time if the developers can't fill up a 10 vs 10 server with actual players, but it's still better than waiting for forever, of course. Right now, this is actually the longest matchmaking time I've ever seen, 1 minute and 23 seconds. Typically, it happens within 15 seconds, 20 seconds or so. If you guys didn't notice before, by the way, the objective of these matches that we play is simply to be on the team that gets the most points. We get points by killing the opponent, but also by holding the back. So there's a back at the center of every map. Whichever team holds that one, get more points faster. And so, of course, we really want to go for that, if possible. In terms of the controls, by the way, they work really well. So we've got a left side joystick over here that I can move around like so. You guys can see that on the screen right now. And then we simply slide our finger. It's not really a joystick, but we simply slide our finger on the right side to look around. And this works much better than most other shooters I've played on mobile, honestly. And shooting then happens automatically as soon as we aim at the opponent. And that works really well as well. So look at this, guys. We have to aim, probably stand still to aim better. Yes, there we go. We got him. And we're with the machine gun now, so obviously it's a bit easier to aim than with the sniper rifle. Because with the sniper rifle, it does take some time to actually shoot. So you have to aim at the opponent for a bit and then be sure that you still aim at the opponent when the gun actually fires. So which one do we want to go for now? Let's go back to the sniper. I prefer the snipers. Let's go back to that one. I find it a bit difficult to really explain why these controls work so well, but they just really do, and honestly, it's the best control setup for any mobile shooter I've seen so far, especially for a casual mobile shooter. Maybe we should put it like that, for a casual mobile shooter. Because something like PUBG Mobile, for example, controls really well as well. I, I have nearly no complaints about the way it works in PUBG Mobile, but obviously this game is even more casual. Right now, we have 27 points, and the back is on that guy right there. Sugar Man, is that his name? Yeah, Sugar Man. <laughs> so Sugar Man from our team has the back. Has the Sugar back. So let's take out this guy. Come on. This is where... Yes. No, it wasn't us who got him. 
Oh, oh, the bag is there. The bag is on the ground. Let's get this guy and take the bag. We got the bag. No, no, we died. Oh, man, we got the bag, though. But, I mean, it's on the ground again now. We had it for one second. That's, I guess that's all that counts. These developers, by the way, they want to make the game very competitive, uh, which means esports, right? They want to get into esports. And I could definitely see an esports scene building up around this game if it wasn't for the fact that the in-app purchases means that we can buy better weapons faster. I don't see how they're going to make that competitive. There would need to be some special game modes, maybe, where none of the in-app purchases are enabled or everyone have the same guns. Maybe then, but without that, I don't ever see this game becoming competitive, right? Because you need sort of an equal playing field, so it's all about being good at the game and not actually having the best gun necessarily, or the most money to buy in-app purchases. Now, most of the guns are unlocked through in-game gold, to be fair, but that also means that we do have to grind quite a bit to unlock them, and people who want to spend money can get them much, much faster. Okay, guys, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Uh, let's switch to the gun so we can run faster. <laughs> we barely made it out of there, but we've got the back. So, right? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. It's really difficult to keep the back for, for too long. But we're winning, though. Right now, our team is winning. And as soon as one minute is over, no matter who has the back, the team with the most points will win. And that was us. 73 points, 66 points for the opposing team. That is awesome. What do you guys think about this game? I'm really loving it. I'll definitely keep it installed on my smartphone, but will you check it out for yourselves? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. I have, of course, left the download link for this game in the description box. If you are on Android, you can go click that. If you're on iOS, I've left a sign-up form for the beta of the game because it's only out in, in an official beta on Android so far. But it will be coming to iOS, don't worry, and there is a beta version that you can get access to as long as you fill out that form. So now it's time for the mobile gaming fact of the day, which is that Subway Surfers just won't stop apparently, because they are now attempting to get into video streaming by creating a new platform called Cybo TV, launching later this year already. And the website will then have content like animated videos based on the Subway Surfers IP. Who's going to watch this? I'm not really sure myself actually, but they do have 2.1 billion downloads across iOS and Android, so there is certainly a lot of players out there. But guys, thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you leave a like, if you did, be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys soon.